Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Christine, and this is a live Zoom practice with uh, folks from the Breast Friends organization in Tigard, Oregon. Their website is linked in the description below. If you're interested in looking them up and having more information, please feel free to navigate there. We're going to do a chair yoga practice today. So if you prefer to practice on the floor on your mat go ahead and find a comfortable seat there otherwise if you're sitting in a chair find yourself a chair that doesn't have wheels or that you can lock the wheels so you'll be nice and safe and then we're just going to go ahead and begin to notice your body begin to notice any parts of yourself that are wanting a little attention I just shared before we started the recording that I have a little hip bursitis in my right hip from years ago. And so I have learned to be kind to that area of my body. And so I'm practicing my yoga in a chair today so that I don't overdo um, any stretching on that part. So you might have your own parts that kind of are old injuries that flare up from time to time, or maybe you have a new injury and you're just coming back to some kind of physical practice. So just noticing those places and just extending a little bit of compassion to those places. And if they're within your reach, maybe your hip like me, Maybe it's your hands, might be your neck. Just take your hands to that area, one or both, whatever works for you, and just give it a little gentle massage. Not like you're trying to make it go away, but like you're just trying to bring a little tender compassion to it. Just gently noticing any places that feel like they need a little bit of attention. Gently, with care, give them a little pat. And then once you feel complete there, just begin to come back to your tall seat, back to stillness. Before we close our eyes, like I typically like to do in a yoga practice, let's just take a moment to look around the space where we are. Your space probably looks a lot different than my space, but you can see my space on your screen. I can see a lot of things over here you can't see, and I can see out my window. So maybe you can see out your window, maybe your eyes land on something that you really love, or maybe they land on something that's been needing your attention lately um, that you need to do or deal with. It's just looking around and assessing where you are, just really being present with a new eye. And when you've had enough of that, go ahead and close your eyes. And from here, let's tap into another sense and just notice what you hear. You might just notice the sound of my voice. Maybe you have garbage trucks outside picking up today like I do. Maybe your kitty is meowing at you. If you're lucky, you might hear the hum of the air conditioner. Or maybe it's a strain to hear anything at all. You might hear something far away like a train are really close, like the ticking of a clock. Just staying with what you hear, using your mind to focus on the sound. And notice how hard it is to think about anything when you're focusing on what you hear. And if your mind does drift off to other thoughts, just redirect your focus to what you hear.
And then you're bring your awareness now to what you smell. Maybe you were cooking something in the kitchen. Maybe you're smelling, maybe you haven't showered yet. You smell yourself. Maybe your dog is nearby or your partner. Maybe you just cleaned. You smell that clean, fresh scent. Just notice for another few beats, another few breaths, what you smell. And then bring your awareness to your skin. Notice the places where your skin is touching the ground, your chair, your mat. Notice the places where your hands are touching your body or maybe your legs are crossed. Notice the sensation of, of clothing on your skin. And then notice the places of your skin that are not covered by clothing. And you might feel a little breeze if you're practicing outside or near an open window. Maybe part of your body, your skin feels warm while another part feels cool. Just really bringing your awareness to what you feel with your skin. And then coming a little farther inward, notice what you taste. Maybe not much of anything if you haven't eaten or drank anything for a while. Maybe you taste some tea or coffee that you drank earlier today. Maybe you just brushed your teeth, you taste toothpaste. Whatever you notice, you might be aware of the insides of your cheeks, your tongue, the roof of your mouth. And then coming inside a little bit deeper, notice any sensations that you feel that you don't notice with those five senses just your awareness of them. You might feel a little tingle of energy. You might feel a little sensation of pulsing. You might be able to detect the beating of your heart. noticing what you feel inside. And then finally, bring your attention and your awareness to your breath. Notice where you feel your breath expanding as you inhale. Notice where you feel softening as you exhale. And then bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. And feel that expansion happening in your hands. Gentle expansion of the belly into the lower hand and a gentle rise of the chest in your upper hand. And begin to see if you can cultivate a deeper, slower breath.
Recommit to sitting in a tall spine, lengthening through the back of the neck. Relax your jaw and your shoulders. In the next breath, take the biggest, most generous breath you've taken all day. And as you exhale, hug your elbows in towards you, holding yourself here in this container. Letting yourself know that you care enough about yourself to show up for yourself. Even just a few breaths of intentional awareness can be enough. And then we'll release the hands once again. And let's practice Satali breath. It's a cooling breath that we can do. And we're looking here in Oregon for some really hot weather. Um, uh, thoughts, my heart goes out to people in Maui and Hawaii that are experiencing the fires over there. Um, so hopefully if uh, you can cool yourself down, we can, and I don't know why I brought up the fires in Maui, they're just on my heart and I think about how hot it is there. And while we can't help them to cool down, there's nothing we can do from here. We can bring ourselves a little sense of relief when the temperatures get really hot. So let's find that tall spine once again. Let's inhale together here and then stay for your exhale. And then this breath for cooling will be sipping in through the mouth like you're sipping through a straw. And if you can do the little tongue roll, you can stick your tongue right there just inside your lips and inhale through that little roll of the tongue. I cannot do that. Um, but if you can, go ahead and give it a try. If, if you can't do it, just sip through your lips with the tongue sort of near the uh, back of the lips here. And then when you exhale, you'll close your lips and exhale out the nose. So it looks like this. Go ahead and begin on your own timing with your own breath. And just notice how that air coming in over your tongue is a little bit cooler. You're cooling down that air and you want to really give a suction as if like you're trying to suck a milkshake, a nice thick milkshake through a straw. Let's find five more of those breaths here. And after your last round, close your lips. You might moisten your mouth with your tongue or swallow. And just notice your energy. Notice any shift that you feel. And then let's begin to just get a little movement here together. So let's take the gaze up towards the sky with your next in-breath. Just being careful with the back of the neck. And then with your out breath, take your gaze down towards the ground. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take your gaze right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, turn your head to the left. Inhale back to center. 
Exhale, gaze down towards the ground. Inhale, look up towards the sky. Exhale, back to center. This time we'll inhale to gaze right. Exhale to come back to center. Inhale, take your gaze out to the left. Exhale, back to center. And then we'll just make some little circles here with the nose in one direction, three or four times, moving as slowly, as subtly, or as fast and generous as you like. And when you're ready, we'll reverse those circles. just to even things out. And then we'll come back to center. And then we'll begin to roll the shoulders up and back and down. It doesn't have to be to 100% of how far you can move. Just gentle, maybe 60, 70% of how far you can move, just easy. And maybe you begin to lift your hands from your body, begin to open up the arms a bit. And if you're sitting on the ground in a cross-legged position, please take care of yourself. And whenever your body tells you time to switch the cross of your legs, do that. And maybe you begin to take these circles a little bit bigger. You might keep your arms bent or you might straighten your arms. Maybe reverse those circles, turning the palms forward and around and down. Just getting some healthy movement now in the shoulders. And then we'll take the arms out into cactus arms. Maybe they're out at a 90 degree angle from your shoulders. Maybe they're down a little bit lower, but we're gonna open the heart and then come inward, bowing the chin towards the chest and rounding the spine. So maybe your arms are up high and you look up towards the sky as you lift the heart and the gaze. Maybe they're down low and you keep your chin relatively level to the earth. Whatever is going on to, with your body, you might try both and see what feels best to you. Just experiencing what it feels like to be open, open-throated, open-hearted, this kind of vulnerable position. And then rounding, holding your arms in front of you, bowing inward to a more closed posture, more protective. And you might arch your back as you lift the heart and open up the chest. And you might rock back onto your tailbone as you roll forward. Nice little seated cat and cow flow. And then we'll open the arms all the way up. Exhale, let your hands float down towards the ground and just notice what you notice. And then we'll make some more circles. This time we're gonna do some little spirals in the spine. So let's inhale and reach the heart forward any amount. And as you exhale, round back through one side of your body towards this rounded cat posture. And then inhale through the opposite side back forward again. So it's sort of a cat and cow motion with a spiral. We're inhaling as we come forward, exhaling as we round back. Again, you can keep as tall and subtle in these circles, this feels good to you. Or you can really get into it, bringing your heart almost all the way to your knees, bringing your back rounded towards the back of your chair. You can get your heart and your shoulders as involved as you like. And the next time you bring the heart forward, we're just going to switch directions. And just visualize what's happening with your spine and your back. This little spiral and how fascinating it is that it can even move like this. And 
couple more in the second direction. And then the next time you inhale the heart forward, stay for the exhale, make a nice long spine. Draw your heart forward, keep your sit bones anchored and continue to breathe right here. Lengthen through the back of the neck, draw the shoulders back and down, hug the elbows in towards your heart. Little spinal decompression here. One more full breath. And then we'll inhale all the way back to that tall spine. And then let's get down into the lower body a little bit here. So let's just get a little marching going, picking up one leg and then the other. And you can keep that nice tall spine here. So don't lift the knee so far that you're rounding in the back. And maybe that's enough for you right here, or maybe you extend your legs out in front of you, straightening the legs and bringing the foot forward. And maybe your legs as you extend are level to the ground, or maybe you tap the heel down. Whatever you're doing today, that's for you. This is your practice. What you're doing in the privacy of your own home is for your body. So we're not all in the same place today. So whatever feels good for you. And then the next time you lift the right leg, we're gonna just make some little circles in the hip. And maybe it's with a bent knee, maybe it's with the toes or the heel down to the ground, just going from side to side. Or maybe you've got a relatively straight leg. Wherever you are, we'll reverse the circles. And then we'll plant that right foot and make some circles with the left hip. Again, find what works for you. Foot grounded, leg extended, knee bent. And then reverse your circles. and plant that left foot right back down. And then we're just gonna do some little extensions, a little knee health. I know a lot of us as we get older especially have knee issues. So you can lift your right foot off the ground just to hover. And if you like, you can bring your interlaced hands underneath your right thigh, just as long as you can keep that tall spine. And we're just gonna straighten and bend that right knee. Moving nice and slow as if you're moving through molasses. You can keep the foot lifted the whole time or you can bring it back down to the ground before you extend again. And really think about engaging around the quadricep, pressing through your right heel. Just a couple more on this side and then we'll lower down and then we'll do the opposite side so however you like if you have a yoga strap maybe you want to use your yoga strap underneath the left thigh here or interlace your hands you can ground your foot in between extensions but really squeeze your quadricep in towards your bone, squeeze the thigh muscles inward, press your left heel out so you're also getting a little engagement in the ligaments and the tendons around the knee. Let's do two more on this side. And then we'll plant that left foot down, scoot as far forward to the front edge of your chair as you like, or bend your knees and have the feet on the floor if you're sitting on the ground. And we're just gonna windshield wipe or bend knees from side to side. And you can take them out as far as you like or as subtle once again as you like. And then from here, plant your hands behind your hips and just lift your heart in your gaze. Nice little back bend. Maybe your head comes all the way back. 
opening your throat. Maybe you keep your chin relatively level as you roll your shoulders down and back. As subtle and as gentle as you can find or as big and broad and generous as you like. One more inhale here. And then we'll exhale back to center. And just bring your hands to your lap. And if you're sitting in a chair, you're gonna take the knees out a little bit wider here. If you're on the floor, you'll come to stand. Now my chair is kind of funky, so I, I hit little corners here when I take my knees out wide. So I like to straddle the corner of my chair. So just make it work for you, whatever your situation is at home. And we'll find that tall spine here in the center. Let's inhale, reach the arms out wide up overhead alongside the ears. And then we're just going to pretend we're climbing a rope or a ladder getting long through the side body, reaching, 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 keeping your neck nice and long here. If this is too much for your shoulders, you can just move from side to side, keeping your arms down. Just a little side bend. If it's not quite enough sensation for you, you can bring your left arm down to your thigh and find a little side stretch here. Maybe your right hand is on your right hip. Maybe it's reaching up towards the sky or even alongside your right ear. Have your knees over your ankles. And instead of looking down at the ground, we're gonna roll the heart up to look up towards the sky. Rotate your arms so that your pinky is down towards the ground and notice how that changes your shoulder blade. And you might stay in stillness or you might find a little movement here. Pulsing, waving. And then we'll inhale back to center and Either come to take a side bend here with the forearm grounded on the top of the right thigh, left hand at the hip, or reach that left arm up towards the sky or alongside your left ear. Rotate the pinky down towards the ground and just notice how that changes your shoulder. You might stay here in stillness or you might find that gentle dynamic pulsing. Notice if your jaw is clenched or your face is tight and see if you can release that tension. And then we'll come back to center. And then we'll go side to side. So we're just shifting side to side here, or we're reaching side to side here, or we're bringing that forearm down to the thigh and reaching side to side here. So again, lots of variations, lots of different bodies. One more time to each side. And then we'll all come back to center. Finding that tall spine. And then we'll come to sit with the legs parallel once again. Bringing your hands to the tops of your thighs, palms down for a more grounding experience, palms up for a more uplifted experience. And just notice once again, all the things that you see in your space. Or maybe with your eyes closed this time, you notice what you see behind your eyelids. Little light, little color, perhaps. And then notice what you smell. Notice what you hear.
Notice what you feel on your skin. Notice what you taste. And then even deeper, notice that tingling flow of energy, the pulsing flow of your blood, and the beating of your heart. And then come back to your breath. And then bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Maybe you notice which one automatically goes where and you switch it up so it's different from the first time. And just with this gentle holding of yourself, scan your body once again for any areas that are calling out for your attention. Maybe you have a stiff neck or sore back, cranky hip or ankle. And find any gentle organic movements that your body is craving right now. Maybe you wanna massage or move your neck a little more. Maybe you want to massage your hip. Just give yourself whatever your body is calling for. Maybe it wants to just take a nice big shake, shake it out. Or maybe it wants to stay in stillness. Just two more minutes here to be with yourself, with your experience. If you notice any thoughts rise up, just notice them as well. Giving them whatever attention they need before you bring yourself back to your body and back to your breath. If you would like to release your hands, feel free to do that. If you'd like to hold yourself a little tighter, a little closer, feel free to do that. And just comfort yourself with the knowledge that you are here to take care of yourself, that you matter, that you're worth your time. And if you haven't released your hands already, go ahead and do so, bringing your palms to your lap. Recommit to that tall spine, draw the base of your skull up and feel your sit bones and your feet, and your legs pressing down gently. Let yourself feel grounded and uplifted all at the same time. And then all together, we'll take a nice big inhale, sweeping the arms out and up as much as feels good in your shoulders. And then bring your palms together and exhale, hands right down to meet your heart. In yoga, we have a mantra that we'll, we'll chant in our practice. It goes, loka samasta, Suki no Bhavantu. And it translates into may all beings everywhere, and that includes you, be happy and free. And may my own thoughts 
words, deeds, and actions contribute to that in some way. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. Namaste.